All right, just taking a quick look at this new Pecron F3000 LFP. So this is a new model. It's not a replacement for anything. It's just all new. It's new to the lineup. So now you might be saying, you know, it's smaller, quieter, stronger. Then what? <laughs> right? Then what? Well, I guess the old EcoFlow Delta Pro. That's what that is, isn't it? That's what it looks like. So I don't know why they compare it to that. The thing came out like four or five years ago, didn't it? But actually they made another comparison here. This is probably the one you're interested in compared to the 3600 LFP. So and this, this chart is actually provided by Pecron. And it's actually not, <laughs> it's not good news for this new model. There's a lot of downgrades here. Now, you know, what is, you're probably saying, well, what is better about this new model? How about 63 pounds? That's the whole thing, right? I mean, this is lighter. The other one is 79, by the way. And it's the exact same capacity, exact same inverter. But to have something smaller and more portable, you're going to pay the price. You're going to pay the price with solar input, 1,600 watts versus 2,400 watts. But actually, that doesn't even tell you the whole story. Because the 3,600 actually has two inputs actually it has three it has two high voltage inputs and then a low voltage input whereas this new model has only got one input that's it so and then outlets 16 versus 13 yeah a couple of those are dc outlets including a, a 30 amp dc you know a high power dc output you don't get that on this new model all you get is 10 amps and then yeah for the extra battery you know, the connections that you can make up to four on the old model, up to four, which would give you over 15 kilowatt hours. The new model's only got two, which is nine kilowatt hours. It's still good. And by the way, yes, it's, it's, it's the same battery too. They're using the old battery with the new model. Now for the second point they made on this new model, ultra quiet. And this is a big topic, right? I mean, this is a high demand feature you don't want to be listening to fans going full speed all the time you know i mean if you're running a huge load okay okay <laughs> you know what i mean okay but if you're running a small load it's annoying isn't it it's, it's annoying as hell so they're saying actually either charging or outputting here it's going to be super quiet you know, as long as you're charging in eco mode, this can all be set in the app, right? You're not going to be charging this thing at full speed, but you can do that. And you can even output up to 900 watts. Still, that's still a good amount of power, isn't it? And if you do either of those things, it's going to be less than 30 decibels. Less than 30 decibels. That's like, you're hardly going to hear that, right? And they even say, this is kind of cool how they achieve that. They're using this new 7025 fan. <laughs> whatever that is but also this is something new i've never seen a company mention this anti-vibration pads so evidently they got the, the fan mounted in such a way that there's no vibration right i mean there's there's no extra noise like literally just moving the air and if you don't care about the noise you can fast char this thing actually you can really charge this thing up fast because you can dual charge it up to 3,200 watts is possible, you know, if you max out the AC and the solar. Now, you know, the fastest setting just from AC is 1,800 watts, right? So, and that will still take, yeah, that will still take about two hours. And since we're talking about the charging here, yeah, let's just talk about the solar real quick. As I mentioned, it's only got that one input, XT60, decent voltage range, but again, it's a downgrade. You know, the old, the, the 3,600 could do 150 volts. This one, 25 to 120. And this part is really interesting, right? The 25, the low end, because there's only one input. And they do say it's capable of charging from a car. So, I don't know, that doesn't make sense, right? I mean, you'd, it'd have to be down to 12 volts to charge from a car. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe they just mean in order to get the maximum amps, you got to be at least 25 volts. But at least, you know, the... The maximum you can put into it, 1600 watts, that's still a good spec for, you know, a three kilowatt hour battery, isn't it? It's still good. And then for their last claim here, this thing being stronger, stronger. So 
Yeah, you might be wondering too because we already talked about the inverter being the same. 3600 watts continuous. The same as the 3600 LFP model. So the only thing I found different is this little note down here that it can power 4,500 watts for up to five seconds. So this is, evidently this is not surge. You know, the surge rating is typically just for like one second, right? Real brief when something first starts up. This is saying like a full five seconds. So that does give you a little leeway there, doesn't it? You know, if you accidentally exceed 3,600 watts, you know, and you're like, oh, oh shit, <laughs> oh shit. You know, you, you see that thing spike up, you can turn something off, right? And you don't have to, you're not gonna just have it cut out on you right away. And the last thing to talk about here is this new design. This is an all new design for Pecron, isn't it? Because it doesn't have those yellow bumpers on all the corners. Now, you know, obviously that was a, a functional thing to help protect the power station, but you know, actually what was really crazy is that for a short, brief time, they did offer a black series. Did any of you guys get your hands on one of those? That was awesome, right? Because it was the same, same design. It's just everything was blacked out. And they didn't offer that for long. I mean, if any of you guys got one of those, that's like a rare item now, right? That's like a collector's item. So you know, I, I guess this could be good or bad, you know, depending on how you felt about the old design. There's probably a lot of people that liked it. But for me, I always just rather have everything blacked out, right? I mean, it's just more stealth. You don't need to have bright colors on an expensive piece of equipment, right? Something that people are going to notice and see you using. So yeah, I just love this. You know, there's more plastic, sure, but it's a trade-off, right? It's lighter, and it just looks nicer, doesn't it? And we get these new buttons as well. Now, these debuted on the 1000, the, the latest 1000 model, and they glow in the dark when they're off to help you kind of find them, right? That's, that's a genius idea. And then they also light up when you turn something on. So, yeah, it's just from a usability standpoint, it's awesome. And we do get an updated screen, you know, compared to some of the older Pecron models. It is a little bit more modern of a layout, a little bit cleaner, you know, it doesn't look so basic, right, with that huge battery bar. Yeah, you know, so, but it, it, is, it is still a significant downgrade from the 3600 model, right, because that thing had a fantastic touchscreen on it. I mean, you know, you could basically find out anything you wanted to know about the power station, the battery, the inverter, the temperatures, you name it. Now from a functionality, like an engineering standpoint, there's one problem that I notice here is that the cooling vents are actually slanted upwards. You see that? So that's kind of a big no-no because you know, if this thing, if you had this thing outside and it started to rain or something, you always wanna have the vents designed to kind of, you know, minimize the amount of water that could come in with like a shingle design typically that's what we see but there is a washable dust filter kind of behind the vent there so maybe that helps a little bit and also it does look like the bottom of that exterior vent kind of slants down doesn't it so if any water kind of does get in there it would trickle out i guess so maybe it's okay but still i guess Let's be honest, this, this is way too big for camping, right? I mean, only a lunatic would take a power station this large out camping.